evening, good evening. We are just happy and excited to be on again once tonight. Good evening, Brother Mike. You got your mic on? Amen, amen. We are now. Amen, brother. God bless you. God bless you. God bless amen. you. Amen. Man, we are excited about what God is doing again. Amen. 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 Uh, we're waiting just a little bit. Give him a couple of more, maybe 30 more seconds for him to tap in. And after that 30 seconds, we're going to go ahead and get started with tonight's lesson. Amen. We pray that um, everyone has had a blessed day, a blessed week, uh, a blessed time in the Lord, that we are yes, growing and glowing in the Lord. Amen. Uh, as we grow in His Amen. grace and it, as we uh, uh, live under His mercy and as we appreciate His goodness and His loving kindness toward us. Amen. It's the Lord's Amen. doing that we are here amongst the living. Uh, not on our own, but according to his will. And that mm -hmm. we should always give praise and glory for allowing us another opportunity, another time to be a witness, amen, uh, to a world that is in need of a true witness, amen. Amen. Uh, we're so excited tonight to, uh, to bring God's word before you. And we just hope and pray that it's a blessing and encouragement to, to uh, the brethren. Amen. And that um, someone would uh, gain more strength, more encouragement to run on and see what the end is going to be. Amen. We're going to go ahead Amen. and open up, Brother Mike, with, with prayer. And we'll go ahead and dive off into the night's nice lesson. Amen. Mm -hmm. Father Amen. God, we thank you, Lord, for this. We thank you so much, God, for being an awesome God. We give you praise, glory, and honor for creating us in your likeness and your image. We thank you, Lord, for your Son and Savior. Jesus Christ, we thank you, God, for being created and make of everything. We God, we just can't give enough praise, glory, and honor for how you kept us up to this point in our life, how you have protected us, how you have reminded us of your word that says if we keep our minds stayed on you, that you would keep us in perfect peace. God, we pray for those that are less fortunate. We pray for the sick and shut in tonight. We pray for those that are sick on their hospital beds. We pray even, God, for those that don't know you in the part of their sins. Now, God, we ask that you would allow us to speak a word of encouragement. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. 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 God bless you tonight. Uh, we are still uh, dealing with a uh, call for a purpose. Not only being called for a purpose, we must walk in his purpose and not our own purpose. Amen. Our lesson tonight is coming from the book of Ephesians. Uh, the second chapter, uh, verses four through six, amen. And it reads, uh, you know, I forgot we go on that one. <laughs> go ahead. Yes. I'm so sorry. I forgot I missed last week. I was still stuck on last week's. It's okay. Okay. Verses four through six. It reads, Pastor, uh -huh. I can't hear you. For God, who was rich in mercy, for his great love, for his for which he loved us, excuse me, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ. By grace ye are saved. Verse 6 says, and hath raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Uh, our lesson tonight. Uh, is talking about uh, how Christ has raised us up and how Christ has really um, made all the necessary arrangements. Can you hear me now, Brother Mike? Yes, I can hear you. He's, he's made all the necessary arrangements uh, that we may uh, walk worthy of, of our salvation. Amen. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of times uh, uh, we don't really know why we were saved. Uh, we say we're saved, but 
We don't really know why we're saved. And we don't really give uh, great homage to the person that saved us. Uh, gave a lot uh, to put us back in fellowship after men had fallen, amen. After we had uh, fallen into sin, he gave a great price uh, by allowing his son, uh, allowing him to, to, to go through what he went through. Uh, the Bible says for if it wasn't uh, for the shedding of blood, there would be no remission of sins. Amen. Mm -hmm. So by him allowing his son blood to be shed, we, we know that uh, even though we were hopeless, even though uh, we were in a hopeless condition, even though we were dead to him, even though we were separated from him, even though we were not worthy, yet still sent his son uh, that we may uh, have fellowship, amen, that we may be not only have fellowship, but we may be sons and daughters to him. And, mm -hmm. and as we become sons and daughters to him, uh, that all came at a price, amen, because in, in a fallen state, uh, we were just filthy rags, amen. Uh, we were um, in a state of sin, uh, falling after our flesh, doing the things of the flesh. As a matter of fact, if we go to that first verse in chapter uh, two, it says, it talks about how he quickened us, amen. That's the Ephesians two, verse two and one. And it says, this is Paul. As a matter of fact, let me just clear it up. This is Paul talking to the Ephesians. Uh, mm -hmm. these were new converts these were people that Paul had spent some time with and uh, he was reminding them of, of their former life how they used to be and, and, and where they had come from and, and the condition they was in so in that first verse he says and you have quickened and, and you had he quickened he was telling them that, that Christ quickened them that means I don't know if you ever ever uh, watched uh, the movie where um, lost lost my thought, where, where it was the the guys were uh, immortal and, and they would take a person's life and they called it a quickening. <laughs> so uh, basically, basically we were dead and he quickened us. He brought us back alive. Uh, in other yeah. words, he resuscitated us uh, mm -hmm. from a dead state. Amen. And it goes on to say. We were dead in trespasses and sins. Let, let's let's talk about uh, trespassing again. You know, when 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 you go on uh, someone else's property, amen, mm -hmm. or get into something else that uh, someone else's car, or you go into their land, it's called trespassing. That means that you are there without permission. That means you are there, amen, and not only that 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 he we were dead in our trespasses but we was also dead in our sins uh -huh. amen uh, and, and 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 we know that if we if we follow the flesh and the flesh is what we are being led by what we are answering to then basically we're dead to our sins amen uh -huh. and if we try to come to him any other way other than by Christ Jesus, guess what we're doing? We're trespassing. Amen. So he was uh -huh. letting the Ephesians know that they're in their former life, because they were giving in to the flesh. Amen. We can witness to that. Uh, giving in to the flesh, doing the things that the flesh desires, fulfilling our nature, uh, doing the things that we feel like uh, that we say we're grown enough to do. When we are living in that, we're living in a state of trespassing and sin. Amen. And, and it was talking about that's the way they were before he came and ministered to them. Before mm -hmm. Paul came and spent time with them this season, before he they went through their conversion. These are church folks, amen, that were worldly folks at one time, but now they're mm -hmm. church folks. And he's reminding them that they were dead. And he says, verse two, he says, we're within and past ye walked according to the course of this world. Yes. Amen. Uh, the scripture says that we're in this world, but we're not of this world. 
And I think a lot of times people forget that, that, that we, when we're in this world, we shouldn't look like the world. Amen. Uh, mm -hmm. We should be peculiar. We should be set aside. We should uh, do things differently. We should receive uh, criticism for us being crazy for serving the Lord. Amen. So when people say we're crazy for serving the Lord, literally they're right. Because it takes an act of faith, which, mm -hmm. uh, which makes you appear to be crazy. But we're not crazy. Amen. We just look out of uh, up out of position or out of source because we don't act the way everybody else acts. When they label us, it's crazy. Amen. Amen. They label us, they say other things about other places that the, the meaning is that if we don't do what they're doing, we're crazy. Amen. Because we don't follow and we don't heed to the they walk according to the course of this world. So what what One way, we should always be brought a different path. If the world is walking north, we ought to be walking south. If the world is walking east, we ought to be walking west. We should not be walking the same path as worldly people. Focus and our focus should not be on this world. Uh, brother Pastor, so for some reason, you're in a manner. Am I doing that? For some reason, you're echoing out like me. Yes. Uh, let let let's make a let us make an adjustment right here. Maybe my phone. Uh, it may be somebody else's phone. Or it may. Uh, the work here. I'll bear with us just a second. Okay. Maybe I need to stay in position. I'm moving too much. Is, is that is that better, Brother Mike? Is that better, everyone? Yes, sir. That's perfect. Okay, let me take my phone off Facebook. This thumbs up, something better, brother. You still, your, your picture is frozen. And it's still like a delay it on must, it. It must, it must be the internet, man. Yeah. It probably it's, uh, that's what it's going. It probably is. Okay. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm. I don't, know if, I don't know what's going on, but we're gonna go on anyway. Hey, Amen. Uh, they don't, they don't stop. Okay. So basically, where I'm where I'm going is that. Uh, let me read the rest, and then we go to our lesson tonight. So it says that that we were, we were, we were, we were walking, of course, according to the world. And according to the prince of power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. So basically what he's saying there, Paul was telling was that, that we was walking according to the prince of the air, which made us children of disobedience. So one of why children are, are disobedient, when I say children, there's some grown, there's some grown folk that, that wear grown folk clothes that look grown, but they're actually children of disobedience because they're walking mm -hmm. like a child walk. They're, they're just doing what a child would do. Amen. They're acting childish. In other words, you ever seen a grown person act childish? Uh, they, mm -hmm. They're acting childish because they're walking uh, in disobedience because they are submitting themselves to the principal powers of the air. Amen. So because they are, are, are walking uh, in the flesh and walking in disobedience, then uh, they are following the spirit uh, of the air. Which is we know the prince of the air is the devil. So by them walking uh, in disobedience, they walk like disobedient people. So if we are following the same path that they're following, so we walk. We're walking in disobedience also. So basically, let me know is that our path and our walk should not look like the world. Uh, the people of the world should be able to see a difference 
in how the Christians walk versus the world walk. That's what Paul was letting them know that, that they, they were new in this and he came and spent time with them and they went through the conversion. So Paul was letting them know that there should be a physical change. Amen. And verse three mm -hmm. says, among also, Amen. we all had our conversations in time past in the lust of our flesh. Not only do we have our conversation mm -hmm. with the lust of our flesh, you know, uh, 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 Reverend was talking about uh, how you have to talk to yourself sometime and tell yourself uh, what you ain't going to do versus what you're going to do. So as we have conversations within ourselves, our physical self, we got to command our moral bodies to obey the spirit and not the flesh. If you don't talk to it, uh -huh. then it's going to talk to you. If you don't obey it, if you don't, if you don't give into it, then the Bible talks about that, it, that at the very name of Jesus, Amen. Just in His name, demons flee. Um, that even before He show up, and then in other that's when God we serve. Before He show up, if you just if you just throw His name around, uh -huh. Amen, Amen. Just throw His name around, and you already got the advantage from the enemy. Because now you got him on the run. But if you don't never use the name of Jesus, if you come in your own name, they may say, well, I know him. I know him. But who are you? Mm -hmm. Isn't that what them demons said? Paul, I know. Mm -hmm. Jesus, I know. But who are you? Yes, so when, we don't, when we don't recognize the authority and the power that we, that we walk in and walk differently than the way that we used to walk, then basically we're just walking a path that appears in our mind to be godly, but it's really not godly because we are subject mm -hmm. to the flesh. And we'll, if we're subject to uh oh you are messing up bad. Right. Amen. Yeah, I thought it was just me. He's gone out again, ain't he? Well, Lord. Stay right here. I don't know what just happened. I gotta move. That's just a deal. Can we hear? Can you hear me now? Yes, sir. Yeah, I can hear you. Yes, sir. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to stay in in the closer to it. I don't know if it's me back. Look, he said that the internet was unstable. But anyway, uh, mm -hmm. um, Paul was reminding them that 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 their old life won't work in their new life. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, old and new people said the old is the is the old fifty is it now the new thirty? They just a lie. That, that ain't, ain't, ain't <laughs> no 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 no, 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 no. no that, that that ain't true. No. As, as, as as people that say that, that you keep on living. <laughs> Your, your mm -hmm. legs gonna get a little slow. Your eyesight gonna get a little dimmer. Your mm -hmm. voice gonna be a little bit shaky. In other words, what they're saying is, uh, once, uh, uh, once an adult, but twice a child. In other words, yes, sir. Don't live it. So Paul was letting them know that that they were dead to these things. So he was encouraging them to let them know that 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 we shouldn't fulfill the desires of our, our flesh, and we shouldn't fulfill the desires of our mind because this great love that we live in now. Uh, it was a great love because love lifted us. Amen. The mm -hmm. love of Christ, the shedding of his blood is what lifted us out of that dead state. Amen. And we don't give credit all the time and, and, and remind ourselves all the time, if it wasn't for the Lord who was on our side, mm -hmm. where would we be? We would be just like the Ephesians were before their conversion is we will be dead to our sin. So as we are converted, when we are converted, he lets us know in his verse, verse four, he says, he would let them know that they were once that way. Then he goes to say, but God, you know, I hear people say that all the time in church, but God. And here Paul mm -hmm. says it right here, but God, who is not was, who is rich in mercy. Amen. Mm -hmm. He's rich in mercy. If it wasn't for his mercy towards us, where would we be? Man. If it wasn't him having mercy on us and sending the Savior, where would we be? Yeah, if it wasn't 
him having mercy on us and knowing that we were in a fallen state, we were separated from him. If it wasn't for him having mercy on us and allowing the shedding of his only son, not just his son, but his only son, blood, that we may have a blood transfusion that the old would be removed and we would be new in him. We're new creatures in him. So he said, uh, 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 Paul is letting these Ephesians know it was God's doing. Uh -huh. No one else but God. So as men of God, if we're going to walk in purpose, we got to know that it's God's doing. And if we don't allow him to do it every day, continuously, if we don't build up our hope, if we don't build up our faith, if we don't build up our trust, and if we don't allow him to lead and guide us, then we cannot walk in purpose. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me now? Yes, sir. And if we're not walking in his purpose, then we walk in our purpose. Then if we walk in our purpose, then we're fulfilling the flesh. We walk in the same way that the people that have not surrendered to God, we walk in the same path that they're walking. People don't like to hear that there's a heaven in the hell. They don't like to hear that, that, that you have to choose where and whom you're going to serve. They got to, they don't realize that, that that they say, well, I'm going to heaven anyhow. But no, you can't go anyhow. <laughs> you, you, you cannot no go anyhow. to heaven anyhow. The Bible, my Bible tells me it's a gift from God. Mm -hmm. So so in order to qualify for gifts, you got to do something worthy. It's not like the little league now. Everybody get a ring. Everybody get a trophy. Heaven ain't like that. It's not mm -hmm. like that. You, there's some conditions that you have to meet in order to be a, 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 a qualifier, let's say it that way, for the gift. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 Everybody, everybody, everybody contends, but everybody don't win. I don't mm -hmm. care how you put it now. Everybody play in the game, but everybody don't win the championship. Mm -hmm. Amen. So Paul Amen. was letting these Ephesians know, just like we need to know, that our old life has passed away, not because of nothing that we did, it was but God. He had mercy on mm -hmm. us. He saw us in a state that was not leading anywhere but to death. Not only, not, not necessarily leading to death, but we were really, we were already dead. Amen. Mm -hmm. Because it says that, that the spirit quickens us. It quickens our immortal bodies. It wakes us up. It, 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 it causes us to become obedient to the things of God. So if we don't have the spirit of God living in us, there's no way that we can walk the straight and narrow. Amen. I'm talking a lot. Amen. Go ahead, brother. I'm, I'm going to open the floor before we go a different route. So what, what are y'all comments on that? What do you think about that? Uh, Pastor Space, I was listening to you just a few minutes ago talk about um, us walking in God's purpose. And I feel that a lot of times we don't walk in his purpose because we had truly asked him what his purpose is for us. Um, and because we don't ask him what his purpose is for us, a lot of times we can find ourselves maybe leaning more towards something that really pleases the flesh other than what God really wants us to do. Uh, if that makes any sense to you, because we hadn't really asked him, what is your purpose for mm -hmm. my, uh, my life? Uh, I thought about when I was even getting ready to go back to school for years, people had always told me I needed to go back to school. But right. until I actually asked God, what was his desire for me? I didn't really get a thirst and a hunger to go back to school. So a lot of times we don't walk in his purpose for our life because we are disconnected from him and we don't really know what our purpose is. Amen. 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 Brother Mike. Uh, brother oh, um, do I feel is concerned to myself, especially um, the reason for a long time I didn't walk in this purpose because it was uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. 
know, God's purpose for you is not, it's not, it's not a comfort zone. He mm -hmm. pushes you out of your comfort. You got to move from where you're at. Right. You know, we can get real comfortable and everything's good, but he's pushing you, mm -hmm. you know, and, and we resist it. We, we know, we'll feel it. We know, we know we're supposed to be doing something else. Mm -hmm. But in order to do something else, you know, you, you start letting other things play, like I said, uh, your mind play tricks on you about mm -hmm. uh, what people are going to say, mm -hmm. how the reactions and all that, right? I'm comfortable mm -hmm. in my spot where it is right now. Amen. Um, you know, because all of us have another step to take. Amen. Amen. And those steps, those steps ain't exactly, in, you know, then, then but the Bible says like the, the steps of a good man is ordered. Are ordered by God. Amen. Ordered Amen. By God. But Amen. It, but it didn't say it's going to give you a warm, fuzzy feeling either. No, no, you it know, doesn't. All the steps ain't going to give that warm, fuzzy feeling. It will Amen. in the end. But Amen. In the beginning, it's going to make you feel a little, little, a little something. Well, that's that's what I was saying earlier when I was talking about our past as, 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 as disciples or as as, as saints, our path, because it, is, it goes totally against the grain, is mm -hmm. always, it's not, it's not so much uncomfortable, it's, 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 it's unnatural to those that don't know him. Mm -hmm. when, you, when you know the Lord, then you're not walking blindfolded. Faith, faith, you know, faith mm -hmm. is not blindfolded, faith is trust. Mm -hmm. Amen. You're not, you, you, don't, you don't know when, but you know it's going to happen. You don't know how, mm -hmm. but you know it's going to happen. You, you, you don't necessarily know how you're going to be blessed or how you're going to be delivered, but you know you're going to be delivered. Yes, so sir. it's really not so much blind is, is because if you don't put a time and a date on it, you're going to be okay. But when you go to put a time and a date on it, Mm -hmm. That's when it starts to become wavering and, and staggering because in your way you begin impatient because you begin to feel like, well, God don't love me or, or God did it for them. You start comparing and you start thinking outside uh, the godly realms and knowing that it's, it's in this time and it's in this season. And, and if, we, if mm -hmm. we don't faint, if we don't give up, we'll reap. So that's when he says that, that the race is not given to the swift nor the strong. Mm -hmm. You got to be able to go through some stuff. And not only go yes, through sir. it, you got to go through it with the right attitude. Amen. Mm -hmm. you, you can't Amen. go through it whining and griping and, and complaining. Mm. <laughs> Amen. And you you got to go through it. The Bible talks about you got to endure that thing like a good soldier. A good soldier just standing mm -hmm. waiting on his next command. What's next, Sarge? Where do, I, yes. where do I go now? What's the next mission? What do you want me to do now? That's what a good soldier's doing. He ain't worrying about mm -hmm. he ain't worrying about the next uh, meal. He worrying about the next move because the next mm -hmm. move could be the move that if he don't move just right, could be the move that makes him lose his life. Yes, sir. Amen. So that's Amen. the way we have. That's why we have to endure like a good soldier. A good soldier uh, always follow the directives and the commands put before him. A good soldier. Mm -hmm. If you're not a good soldier, you get a dishonorable discharge. Mm -hmm. Because you don't know how to follow instruction. That's the reason that they send them through what they call boot camp. The boot camp is, is a part of their physical uh, exercise, but more so it's beginning to make their minds, convert their minds to become obedient to the voice that's going to be in command of them. Y'all hearing me tonight. I, I just got that one hot off the press. So we have to be subject to the voice of God. If, if we don't know his voice, uh, if we don't know him, then we're going to follow strangers. But the Bible says mm -hmm. that, that, that if you know him, a stranger, a good shepherd, when you, it's what you say, brother? You will not follow. You ain't going to follow. But when you, when, no. you are, when you are the shepherd is talking to you, if he says move over here, you're going to move over here. If he said mm -hmm. not now, you go wait. If he said go forward, you can go forward. So what 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 he's talking about is, but God, who is rich in mercy, I, I, you know, when I was studying this thing, I found out God was so focused on man that He created a plan of mercy and love. Are y'all mm -hmm. hearing me? He had mercy on us, Amen. While He was preparing His Son. 
to die for us. That's the love for us. So mm -hmm. God was so focused on fallen, the fallen man. Yeah, I don't mind. God was so focused on us when we was out of grace and out of mercy that he prepared a plan for us before we were even born. Mm -hmm. Amen. He prepared a plan of that was full of grace and mercy all the time. He was making provisions all the time. He was making plans for the salvation of man. And, and somebody in the Bible said, what is man? You read that, you read that, uh, Reverend? What is man that you're so mindful of him? Why, why, why are you so mindful? I mean, I, I'm at the devil. That's when the devil plays such a big part in trying to influence and try to distract us. You know, who I am was an angel. I was, I was an angel in heaven. I was, I was, I was head of your, of your worship. But, but now you don't kick me out. Now, what is it with man? Man messed up all the time, but I just messed up one time. Man messed up, and you put a whole plan into place for him. Uh -huh. Not only him, but for them. For those that were there then and those that are here now. That old Satan must have been a bad man. <laughs> he, may, he, he must have been the worst or the chief sinner. Amen. Uh -huh. But here we are. God put a plan in place for us that we would know that salvation is totally compliant and reliant on him. That's the only way we can receive salvation. He put this plan together that you can't go or you can't get through him through any other way. You must come. You must come through Christ, the Savior. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Amen. That plan was Amen. put in place. That, that 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 we can't claim or we can't get any credit for our salvation. We can't uh -huh. brag about it. We can't pay for it. Amen. We can't give it to nobody. Salvation is only giving through our Father. He's in total control of it. Amen. So man Amen. can't brag about saving a thousand. He can't brag about Having uh, five hundred thousand in this church, Amen. Uh -huh. He can, he he can, but he, he glorifying himself. He should be saying that's the Lord's doing. Man can't brag about. Uh -huh. Well, I, I don't do what I used to do no more. No, that's the Lord's doing. Uh -huh. All credit, all glory, and all honor should be given to Him because He purposely made a plan for your salvation. Amen. Amen. Somebody want to speak? Thought I heard somebody start to say something. So he says, he begins on reminding them that they were dead in trespasses and sins. But God being rich in not only uh, mercy, but he was rich in, in grace and in love towards us. That's verse four. He was rich, and that means that he don't run out. Amen. And I'm so glad he didn't run out, uh, uh, Brother Michael. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad he yes, didn't sir. run out of grace and mercy before uh, he woke me up, uh, before he changed my path and got me on the street. I'm so glad he didn't run out. I'm so glad he didn't get tired of, of our sin for nature or my sin for nature. I'm so glad he didn't. He didn't get tired of me saying, no, not now. He didn't. I'm so glad he didn't get tired of me mm -hmm. messing up after I messed up, after I messed up. I said, Lord, I ain't going to do it no more. Lord, I ain't going to drink this no more. Lord, I ain't going to do that no more. I'm so glad that when I went back and did it again, brother, he didn't mm -hmm. run out of grace and mercy. Yes, sir. The Bible says he's not only full of, but he's rich in it. Mm -hmm. Amen. That means he got enough to go around. To the whole world. Amen. I'm Amen. not trying to do all the talking, but I just want to I want to let us <laughs> let us know that, that it's the Lord's doing. Amen. Mm -hmm. But God. Amen. So Paul, uh, knowing if we know the story of Paul and Saul and how he had his experience and what he did before God uh, uh got his attention, what better person to be able to preach and teach and tell a dying world and tell these Ephesians about what God is capable of doing because he's speaking from 
experience. Amen. Uh -huh. We as, as as believers, we can't get caught up in in, in, in trying to, to 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 get credit for this thing because if we're really truthful about it, amen, we, we will be still doing what we did if God didn't have an exit plan for us. Uh, mm -hmm. Amen. But Amen. God predestined a time, a place, a voice, a moment, an hour that we will receive his gift. Amen. Mm -hmm. Some people might say, well, I just got tired. No, you didn't get tired. Your time was up. Your plan came into existence that he had for your life. Amen. We might have thought we were sick and tired, but God was sick and tired. That's what was sick and tired. Amen. Mm -hmm. so Paul uh, is talking about the sinful nature, and then he, he lets us know that God redeemed us. Amen. It says, but God was rich in mercy for his great love wherewith he loved us. He, he, he loved our filthy rags, our filthy mouth, our filthy rain, our filthy ways, our filthiness. Because when you are, 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 sin, are a sinner, you have a stench or a stink about you. Uh -huh. Amen. That's what the, in the in, in, the, in the field the rag stinky. Yes, Amen. Sir. It's stinky. Ain't it? So yes, we, we had a filth yes, about sir. us that, that left a, a, a smell. <laughs> Amen. A, a smell that, that God was so rich, and he said, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to put a plan in. I'm going to call that brother. I'm going to encourage that brother. I'm going to send someone to let him know that I still love him. Hmm? He loved us in our in our sinful nature. He probably loved us more. Amen. Because it don't take a much to love a person to love you, does it? Oh, am I? Am I? Am uh -huh. I? Y'all hear me? It don't take a much to love a person to show you yeah, love. Right. But amen. it take a lot to love a person that is mean, or evil, or medieval. It take a lot for a person to talk about. It take a yeah. lot for a person that, that don't don't give the way you give. It take a lot for you to love a person that don't mm -hmm. look like, you, don't smell like, you, don't act like, you, don't walk yes, like, you, don't talk like. It takes a lot to love that. So God was yes, rich sir. because we didn't look like Him. We didn't talk like him. We didn't walk like him, but because he was so rich in it, he had enough to love us through our sinful ways. By somebody wrote a song, it was love that lifted me. Amen. Love lifted us. The love of Christ Jesus Amen. lifted us up out of our sinful nature. And that's what Paul was telling the Ephesians that that the love of Christ, it wasn't for the love of Christ and the grace of Christ and raising us up together. He raised us up together. Well, why did he raise us together with? He raised us together up together with Christ. Amen. Even though we were dead in our sin, he he, he shocked us. Now, you know how you do when your heart is, is not working. The first thing they want to do, they want to put them electrodes on you. They want to shock you back to life. That's what mm -hmm. God did. He, he quickened us. He shocked us. He brought us back to life. Not the life that we was living, but the new life. Mm -hmm. Which is in Christ Jesus. Amen. And he raises us up together with him. And now he says he's made us to sit together in heavenly places. You know, we, 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 we can't sit with him, amen, at a fallen state. We couldn't even bear to be around us. We, we don't even want to be around folk to stay. Come on, let's just make it plain. Yep. If, if, if I, I, I work in the school, I don't know about y'all, but I if these young brothers come in. I got to tell them, hey, bro, go take this and, and, and clean yourself up and come on back out because what's going to happen if I can smell you, somebody else smell you, and I ain't going to talk about you. I'm going to talk to you, but somebody else is going to talk about you. Mm -hmm. So get you. I got some cologne yeah, in my office. I got some spray in my office. I got some wet wipes in my office. When they come in there smelling, like, hey, come here. Let me talk to you. Go do this and go do that and put this on. <laughs> so just imagine what it is that God smelled in his nostrils because we were sinful. Mm -hmm. We stunk in his nostrils. Are y'all hearing me? 
We yeah, smell yeah. like we smell like the paper mill. Some people say yeah. the paper mill smell like money. It may it may make money, but it don't show sure don't smell like money. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. They're like rotten cabbage to me. I don't know. But but they said that's the smell of money. They said when you don't smell that, get worried. Amen. So so God uh, in his redemptive mind state, he sent Christ and he led that 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 these men that was in his condition, these people that were in his condition, that he was letting them know that we were not like him, but when he sent Jesus, amen, he lets them know that now we can walk worthy of our calling. We can walk like him. We can talk like yes, him. We can, uh -huh. we can, we can, we can, we can speak things into and out of existence. We can, we yes, can right. call upon him in the time of need and, and he will come. We can, we can always use his name as long as according to his word, amen. We we can't we can't um, use his amen. name out of context of what the word says because all we're doing then is just saying something. But when we use his word uh, in the context that, that in a context that he has told us that we can use it, we have the authority that he has invested in us because now we are his sons and his daughters, and we have entitled we are entitled to 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 throw his name around. Because now we are his children. And by us being adopted yes. as children, we have the right, amen, to speak mm -hmm. and things happen. But we have to ask ourselves, yes, if we're speaking and ain't nothing happening, who your daddy? Mm -hmm. huh? who, who's your daddy? If, 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 if ain't nothing happening godly, who's your daddy? Say you're always around sinful stuff and always bad stuff is happening, then you might need to question yourself and see who are you serving. Mm -hmm. If you always got a sad song, always about a somebody did me wrong, or always about I just don't know, or always about it's hard out here for a pimp, or always got these testimonies about it's hard, then the Bible says the way of a transgressor mm -hmm. is hard. Amen? Amen. You ought to have some days that there's some sunshine. You ought to have some days where you ain't crying and whining and, 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 and blaming everybody for your situation and certain that. You ought to have some good days, the song says, that's outweighing your bad days. So your bad days should just be a shadow. It just be a, a figment of your imagination. Uh -huh. And you have the testimony that this too mm -hmm. is going to pass. Yes, sir. It ain't going to last. Amen. It ain't gonna last long. This storm is not gonna last long because you ought to be able to look out in front of that storm and see Jesus. Amen. That's what they did when they was on the boat. Amen. They looked out past the storm and they saw Jesus walking on the water. But they evidently didn't know who their daddy was because they couldn't recognize him. They said it must be a ghost. So they didn't know who their mm -hmm. daddy was because if they would have known who their daddy was, they would say, Oh, that's my daddy right there, everything all right. Amen. Am I talking all right, Amen. man? Am I talking? Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I just don't know if I'm talking all right. So, as as brothers and as 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 men that are called for a purpose, we have to know that our, if we don't know who our daddy is, Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about our spiritual daddy. Our physical daddy may not be worth jack, but he can't put us in heaven, and he can't put mm -hmm. us in hell. But I, and he can't give us heaven or hell. But we have a mm -hmm. we have a new daddy because we are made new in him and we are, are, are sons and daughters of the most high. Amen. We are we are mm -hmm. no longer uh, 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 what they call uh, um, stepkids. We mm -hmm. are now children of the most high. We we are royalty. Amen. Mm -hmm. We, we're, we're not the side kids no more. Amen. We're not the step kids no more. Amen. Mm -hmm. Our daddy is 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 rich. And I yes, like sir. it because not because he owns everything. I like it because he's rich in grace and he's rich in mercy. Damn so when mercy. I do get on the wrong path, when I do do the wrong things, when I don't mm -hmm. obey, his mercy is still available 
if I'll ask for it. The Bible Amen. says if you'll confess with your mouth. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 If you just confess it to him, you ain't got to confess it to your neighbor or to the to everybody on the street because the street know what you're doing. Amen. The street know Amen. what's up. But when you confess it to God, <laughs> it's not like he don't already know. But that's a sign of giving him the, the authority and giving him the entitlement and giving him the, 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 the rulership over your life. Daddy, I need you to forgive me. Uh -huh. So I'll be in right standings with you. Isn't that what the prodigal son did? When he came to himself, he uh -huh. came back home. In his, in his, the, the script says he came to himself and he made up his mind. And he figured out, he said, the, the, the servants got it better than I have. And he asked that, he said, I don't have to come back as a son. Just leave, let me be one of the servants. Huh? Let me be one of your hired hands. So in other words, we have to have a servant mentality. And, and he was letting us know that being a servant is really not a bad thing. Because no. if you're a servant, then you're going to get stuff that God has because he wants you to do what? Keep serving. Mm -hmm. You can't serve unless you have the equipment and the tools necessary to serve with. Yes, sir. Hey, Amen. I'm talking a lot. Somebody want to say something before I, before I bring this thing to head? Okay. Um, in the in the fourth paragraph, right, uh -huh. of this fifth column, it says in this in the first sentence, it says they were saboteurs, right? Mm -hmm. As that, that is like I said, on our jobs and stuff. That's what we should be in Christ. Mm -hmm. the, the devil's busy. We should be disrupting his plans wherever we're at. That's right. We should be those saboteurs in our in our walk. That's we right. should not be reacting. You know, they see us in the physical, but in the spiritual, we should be acting in such a way that disrupts everything. When something Amen. goes a certain way and they expect uh, cussing out or all that loud talk and whatever, and we don't act mm -hmm. that way, we don't disrupt everything. Amen. Now they're looking at that. Wait a minute. That, that that's not that. That's supposed to go. Amen. And in disrupting that, we bring a, somebody else to notice that. Say, wait a minute. Look how calm that act is. It'll be an influence on somebody else. Like they say, you don't always have to say Jesus to preach Jesus. Mm -hmm. If you walk in his way, it'll show. We need Amen. to be disruptors. Amen. That's the reason I started listening. I'm talking about that our walk should be contrary to the walk of the world, just like what you're saying. Amen. Mm -hmm. Our path and the direction mm -hmm. and the way we walk and our stance, it shouldn't be equal to the world. We we as as as, as believers, mm -hmm. we ain't got no let me just make it plain. Let me say this for the young folk that probably going, as a believer, we ain't got no business sad. I'll just I'll say it that way. We Christ didn't say. Matter of fact, <laughs> I probably I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get in trouble, but I'm gonna say it anyway. He, 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 he didn't say. We ain't gotta go down that path. I can't stand that. Hey man, that so we should look, hey man, our appearance and our speech uh -huh. has got to be different if we're gonna make a difference. Uh -huh. Just like you were saying. Amen. On our job, our our path and our speech and the things that we say when somebody come and 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 they speaking as though they are are are, 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 are related to our uh, sons of the devil, Amen. We should come in such a manner that they look at us crazy because uh -huh. it's going to appear crazy to them because it don't it don't fit in. God's plan does not fit in with the world plan. Yeah, he created heaven and earth. He did that. But then he turned around mm -hmm. and said, okay, I'm going to create heaven and earth. You can choose to serve You can choose to serve Satan or you can choose to serve me. This is, you choose which one you want. 
Mm -hmm. But don't get mad at me when you choose the other road and that road, uh, you fall off cliffs, you come into dead ends, uh, your mm -hmm. mind start, start telling you that you ain't worth nothing, you ain't worth nothing. You start thinking about mm -hmm. killing yourself and killing other folk because that's what the enemy does, right? He comes mm -hmm. to kill, steal, and destroy. and destroy. But I came, or I come, that you may have mm -hmm. life. And not just life, but life more abundant. That means you got a lot of joy. You got a lot mm -hmm. of, your joy ain't gonna run out. You ain't, you ain't gonna get to a point that I just don't think I'm gonna make it no more. No, your joy ain't gonna run out. Your peace mm -hmm. ain't gonna run out. Your happiness shouldn't run out. Amen. No matter how low you go, you should always be see a light at the end of the tunnel. And, uh -huh. and that just comes with experience. And that just comes with us through trials and tribulations. And that comes through us consistently, consistently trusting God uh -huh. in all things, for all things, through all uh -huh. things, through all things. Because yes, he's an unchanging God. I told you mm -hmm. earlier that God specifically developed a plan for us when we were yet mm -hmm. lost in our sin. He he did this so specific. Amen. Mm -hmm. From from Christ's Amen. birth to his death. He did all that in a plan that we can see that if, if I'm for you. Amen. If I'm for you, I'm more than mm -hmm. no words going to come against you. Amen. He showed us that through Christ's life that he was for him. Mm -hmm. Although the whole world, the church world, came against him, he won in the end. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, there was church that, that was hollering crucify him. That was church folk. Yeah. They were hollering crucify him. Mm -hmm. They weren't. Them were church folk that that, that put nails in his hands, nails in his feet. And they, they were, I'm gonna read you this and we're gonna try to sum this thing up. It says in Titus three, and sometime you read and read Titus three, begin at the first verse it says, he says, put them in mind to be subject to the principalities and powers, to obey madness, to be ready to be, to be ready to every good work, to speak evil to no man, to be no brawlers, but gentle, showing all meekness unto all men. Verse 3 says, for we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. Mm -hmm. Not only were we foolish, we were disobedient. Not only were we disobedient, but we deceived, serving divers, lust and pleasures, living a Malice and, they, and envy, hateful, and hating one another. Oh, Lord. Verse 4 says, but after that, the kindness and love of God, our Savior towards man, appeared. Oh, Lord. We saw the light. Somebody say, I saw the light. I saw the light. <laughs> Verse 5 says, now, I didn't see this by works. It's not by works. Hmm of righteousness, mm -hmm. which we have done. It, 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 it ain't because we, we, we testify on our job. It ain't because we, we have Bible study. It ain't because we live a godly life. It ain't because we pay our tithes. It ain't because we pay our offering. It ain't because we love like God said. It ain't because that is be, it ain't because of what we've done, but according to his mercy mm -hmm. saved us. It wasn't because I, I gave my life. It wasn't because I, I cried in church. It wasn't because I walked up to the altar. It was because of his mercy. His mercy. His mercy. Not us acting pitiful and mercy, merciful, but because of his mercy. And because he had a plan for Michael. He had a plan for Anthony. He had a plan for David. He had a plan for Sean. He had a plan for everybody. Because he had a plan for us, he saved us. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you do that? By the washing of regeneration. Regeneration, by the washing, by him washing 
the old blood out of you and infuse you with the new blood. Mm -hmm. huh? uh -huh. Amen. By that, Amen. by his rights, by him washing and cleansing us and, and, and renewing of uh, the Holy Ghost. You can't leave that out. Amen. Now, Amen. verse six, I'm gonna stop. Which he shed on us abundantly. I'm just reconfirming what the scripture says right there. We read it first. He's has an abundance of mercy, uh -huh. an abundance of grace for us. Amen. All this was done through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Now, seven says, that being justified by his grace, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. Uh -huh. I don't know about y'all. But I'm going to keep on serving God. I'm going to keep on letting them be master. I'm going to keep on letting them be ruler. I'm going to keep on letting them be the driver. I'm going to keep on holding up the bloodstained balance. I'm going to keep on telling the dying word that he lives. Yes, because he does. I know that my hope is eternal. It ain't what can man do unto me? Nothing. What can uh -huh. man give me? Nothing but whatever the Lord puts on their heart. Uh -huh. God gave us something that can't nobody take away from us. No man take it, my life. Ain't that what he said? Yeah. Ain't that what Jesus said? Uh -huh. No he man it. take it, my life. I give it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Amen. I'm just encouraged Amen. tonight, I don't know about y'all, to know that we can walk in purpose, that we can do uh what God has called for us to do. There's some other scriptures that, that I wrote down. Y'all get a chance to read Luke 10 and 37. Uh, wait a minute. Read Luke, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Read Luke. Read right just there, confirmation. Read Luke, Luke 10 and 37. Read Psalms 10, 3 through 8. Psalms 10, 3. Mm -hmm. Deuteronomy 4 and 31. Yes, sir. Amen. Now, and those just confirmation scriptures talking about the abundance and how the gift of how his mercy pours us, mm -hmm. how much he loves us. All those are, are just confirmation <laughs> scriptures that he, he reminds us that he is the one. And until we make him number one in our lives, we will always walk the same path that the world walks. And, 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 and I don't know about you, but the more you do it, the easier it becomes. Amen. Yes. I keep hearing mm -hmm. people say that the only God that the world may see is you and me. Yes, sir. That don't mean that they're going to choose him, but they will know that there's a difference. Mm -hmm. Amen. They will know that, that you can walk in victory. They will know that, 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 that you're able to withstand the pain and the things that you're enduring in life. Amen. We're living in a season where things are happening. I don't think they're happening more rapidly. I just think that they're coming closer to us. Amen. Mm -hmm. We are experiencing mm -hmm. things in our life at this point because it's just a point in our life where as, as life occurs, things happen. And mm -hmm. in our younger years, maybe we did not experience so much, but in these elder years, we're experiencing things because, yeah, our bodies are, are going through changes. Uh, we're having relatives that's moving on we have having situations and circumstances going on, but there's nothing, the Bible talks about it being nothing new under the sun. Amen. There's nothing mm -hmm. new going on that has Amen. not happened. You may not just have experienced it, but there's nothing new under the sun. So I just want to encourage uh, the men uh, to, to make sure that God is, is, your, is your driver. Amen. Our last, our last lesson was talking about how he's the driver. And uh -huh. we're in the drivers, amen. He, brother, brother Mike said that, that uh, he talked about that son talking about the co-pilot. Don't let him be your co-pilot. Let him be the owner. Uh -huh. Amen. 
let God drive you. And I just believe that as he drives us, that we will arrive safely, we will arrive on time, and we will arrive at the destination that he desires for us to be in. Amen. God Amen. bless you tonight. Amen. We just are so encouraged and so excited. Uh, as uh, Brother Anthony said, I just want to ask some questions out of prayer. Would you close us out in prayer tonight? Amen, if you don't mind. Yes, sir. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just come to say that we thank you for this Bible study on tonight. God, we thank you for Pastor Pace and for his leadership, for his guidance, as the Holy Ghost gives him directions and the teachings to share with us as the men. God, we thank you for the word that reminds us that your grace and your mercy is plenteous and righteous. And, and, and Lord, we thank you that even as you are plenty and, and yes. right, rich in mercy, God, that we will be the same way in our attitudes and in our actions towards others. God, I ask now that you cover every man that's been in attendance on tonight, those who desire to be here and couldn't be here. And God, as we continue to meet and as your word go forth, we will grab hold to the teachings to be better men of God in our homes, in our schools, on our jobs, wherever it is that you would have us to go, that your light may shine, that men may see the good works and glorify you, the Father in heaven. We thank you, we honor you, and we bless you, God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God amen. bless you. God bless me. God thank bless you tonight. You. If you'd like to be a, a, uh, a blessing tonight, amen. Uh, our, our cash app is T-T-I-A-T-P, or you can go to uh, Giblify and find us that way. Amen. God bless you and uh, bless you for your for your uh, patience. And we hope that uh, the, the, the recording was uh, better than it sounded like. Amen. God bless you. Uh, next week, we're going to be talking God about, uh, before I forget, uh, we're going to be talking from uh, 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 Ephi Ecclesiastes 3 and 11. Ecclesiastes 3 and 11. All right. Talking All right. About Talking about vision. Amen. God bless y'all. Good night. Yeah, have a good one. God bless you. Good night. Amen.